Wednesday wisdom. Let's do it. What's going on guys? I just want to break into my own video like I did on the last one and remind you guys that we are offering memberships now on our Patreon page. There's a link below as well as on our YouTube membership page. You can sign up either or place or do both if you really want to help us out. And uh, there's some perks like you have direct access to me. Uh, we're not going to be answering as many questions on this site or in emails. We get so many a day. I just, it kills my workflow here, unfortunately. I mean, we want to help you guys out. Um, but if you become a member, we're going to get back to you right away. Um, you'll have full access to us for any technical support, questions, equipment questions, all that kind of stuff. So check those out and uh, help us help you. So uh, let's get back to it. All right, guys, we are going to be talking about how we prep parts, how we talk to our customers about how they want their parts prepped and all that kind of stuff. So I got to shut this door. It's getting a uh, little bit windy. The temperature's not too bad. We've been in the 70s, 80s the last three days, which is pretty good for Iowa. Um, making sure there's nothing under the door, which is pretty good for Iowa in early April. Um, so we've got a couple cars in here that we're working on. We've got this truck back here that came in. These are actually chrome rims that were repitted. Um, we they had plastic dip on them so we stripped all the plastic dip off and what we told the customer was we're not going to be liable for the adhesion of our paint because we're putting it over really crappy chrome um there was pitting and all that they're all dusty but um you can see all the pit marks so that's what it looks like when you coat over chrome we don't like to do it this guy begged us pleaded us told us he didn't care about the finish he just wanted them to be overall appealing from a distance it's not a bad looking truck but um so the way we prep chrome is we will sandblast it to the best of our ability and then we come in with like 220 grit sandpaper because when you're blasting the chrome sometimes it just won't hit those corners and radiuses like you want it to so we'll actually come back and hit it with sandpaper um, when you're talking to the customer about a chrome job, if you're going to take something like this on, you want to talk to them about all the pitting and peeling because you can spend extra time grinding that all back, feathering it out so that it's smooth and looks good. Um, this guy wanted minimum effort put into these things, just kind of wanted them cleaned up and looking good because um, the plasti dip and all that stuff was peeling off you can see the caps are still plasti dipped we're not messing with that but that's talking to the customer figuring out what their end goal is with this stuff um, and, and going from there so as far as like these painted wheels um, we'll get these off we'll get them in the stripper they'll come out with um, and these you can actually tell have been painted before that's someone who did a curb rash repair painted it and did a horrible job because they didn't scuff up the wheel enough for the paint to stick and i see this all the time if you really start looking at you can actually see their clear right there isn't very nice and then it's chipping out of the corners and then someone must have had a locking lug nut because that is all chewed up so they didn't know how to get that off without damaging it lots of fun so i'm wondering if all four wheels look that way yep all four wheels so we'll do our best to sand all that up but for prepping aluminum wheels our typical process strip them we will then um, put them into the oven to outgas we do about 450 for at least an hour um, a lot of times we'll put them in at night set the timer on the oven for two hours to make sure they're fully outgassed then we're going to sandblast them we're going to wash them with a dawn dish soap and then we're going to dry them in the oven after we rinse that off and then we're going to go right into coating when we're doing gloss black i like to start coating them hot about 175 180 we start in the lug nuts work all the pockets and then we'll come back and hit the flat surfaces all the faces and then we'll come back do the drum and the barrel the backside, and then come back and dust the face and that's how we get our black to look perfect um, these are pretty straightforward. If the customer wants a primer, you can do a primer. Or if the customer wants clear coat over their black to help prevent some scratching, we could do that too. But again, it's just talking to them, figuring out how much they want to spend. Um, 
and what else they want, you know, durability wise and all that kind of stuff. Um, bare metal parts, we're going to talk about that. So if you guys are getting into like, we've got, I think a thousand of these bad boys, we've already coated a couple hundred. Um, overall, they're just greasy, grimy. So what we're going to do is we'll hang them on our cart. We actually have a custom cart for it. These bars typically hang down here and we'll hang about 50 on the cart we've made it so you can walk in and spray all the way around right now these are production run pieces for a target system um but we prep those the same way we prep these other parts and it's over here we kind of made a makeshift screen here so that we're not spraying water everywhere our shop's kind of full and small so we don't have a ton of room to have like a wash bay but what we'll do is we'll hang it here um, we've got a degreaser here. This is actually just like, an, we, we've tried a bunch of different ones. They all work pretty good, but you dilute that out a little bit. It, it degreases um, the part, cleans all the you know, oils and that kind of stuff off. So we'll spray that on. If we have to, we've got these green scotch bright pads and we'll actually scrub the parts if they're super filthy. Some of these gas tanks that we do, they're like a gas hauler tank. The guy sprays um, the anti-splatter crap on it and we have to clean those off, scrub them really good. And then we get our hot pressure washer, which is laying on the floor. Um, we crank the heat on, we come out, we rinse them off on the rack and then we'll come back and get our phosphate. Right now we're using the phosphate from Columbia Coatings, all prep. Um, you just kind of mix it as it says, that's all you gotta do. So we mix it in our sprayer, we spray it on the part, we wait about 30 seconds and then we rinse it off with hot water. If you leave it on too long, you're gonna get like a white film on it, which after it dries, you can wipe that off, but make sure you blow the part off so you don't have any fibers or anything on it. That stuff's worked pretty good for us. We have talked to like Du Bois a little bit, the chemical company, I think I said that right, um, about doing an injection. We just haven't got there yet. This is working pretty good for us um, so far. We do all of our raw steel production stuff that they, they just want a nice clean finish. They want it cheap and they want it quick. So that's what's on all of these bars. And you can see they look pretty good. I'll show you what they look like raw because we get them in in all kinds of conditions. These are pretty clean. A lot of times uh, when we get these bars in, they're rusty and stuff. So when you spray that phosphate on there, it'll actually start cleaning up some of this rust here. You can see how filthy these are. Look at that. So, um, but that's why we degrease it. And then that phosphate will start attacking this rust and we'll grab another scotch right and just kind of clean the rust off. Um, with the phosphate on there and then we'll rinse them all off and they'll be good to go. So um, these are all parts we coated and they're all, our doors are open and it's windy and dusty and all that. So we're getting all of our parts covered here. But um, these were all done the exact same way um, with the degrease, rinse, phosphate, rinse. Um, a lot of these parts that we do, like steel parts for motorcycles and stuff, we're going to put a primer on them. And then we're going to do, this is a candy, I think it's Illusion, it's not candy, it's an Illusion Cherry. So you put the base coat on, gel it out, do the clear coat. Um, these are the parts that I was showing you over there, so we've got a couple hundred here. But they come out really nice, so um, the system works good for us, I hope you guys can get a little use out of that um, on your steel parts if you're putting a primer on it we recommend a zinc primer um, if you're doing it on aluminum we recommend like an epoxy primer we actually have our zinc primer here on our old kci gun we just kind of leave that as a primer setup but then we also have i don't think i have it in yet we just ordered more there is a conductive I don't see it here. A conductive primer that we use from IFS that if you're doing like three stages where you're doing like a primer, a base coat, a mid coat, and a top coat. So you're actually putting four down. That conductive primer helps you with your adhesion, getting the paint in to stick and all that kind of stuff. So Hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. That's a lot of information on how we prep parts. Um, you know, we kind of have two different standards, but then it's what does the customer want? Do they want 
durability? Do they want cheap? Do they want a high-end finish? You know, so you just got to talk to them and figure all that out. And this video is getting way longer than I intended it to. So with that, I am going to let you guys go. Make sure to check out the notes below. Um, we're doing memberships on YouTube now. We're doing Patreon. You can sign up either or place. I think we have one guy on both, which I really appreciate. But we're going to be doing some giveaways real soon on those. So make sure you check those sites out. Sign up. If you're on the top tier, you're going to get some of the best giveaways. We're going to try and do some powder coating supplies, some right now powder coating hats that are a little cleaner than this one. We might do some t-shirts, that kind of stuff. And then if we can get working with some sponsors, we want to give away even more and help you guys out. Uh, maybe send you guys some of the stuff we use in house as far as masking and tapes and I'm spitting um, and all that kind of stuff. So check out the links below, become a member, help us out, support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you guys watching and we will catch you guys on the next video.